Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am Nadine. Today I am out in the garage braving the freezing temperatures. It is 37 degrees today in Pennsylvania, so it is cold. I bundled up as best I can uh, because I need to work on this quail hutch. Um, I got it quite a few months ago from Dale's Quails. Um, I'll leave his information in the description box below for you guys. He builds various different uh, quail hutches and setups and stuff like that. And um, I ordered a hutch off of him last year and I'm just now starting to get it together. So all of my pieces are painted and in the box below, you guys can see a video of me painting them here. Um, but today's goal is to at least get started putting some of that together. I need to cut some wire um, and yeah, just start gluing things together so that these quail have a better setup and I can possibly expand my flock this year. So yeah, let's uh, try to stay warm and get to it. So here's my box of pieces. Um, all of them are labeled with a letter, so I need to pull them out of here and get them set up where I can see the letters and find my pieces easily and then my instructions and tools are down there in the bottom as well. So. Uh, I am going to be using uh, wire from my DIY rabbit cages. I dismantled them uh, the end of last year so I could salvage this wire for this project uh, because I ordered KW cages for my rabbits instead. These ones just weren't holding up to the wear and tear of my larger bunny. So I'm going to be using this for the sides of the hutches for the quail. And then I ordered um, PVC coated hardware cloth for the floor of the cages. So the PVC coated wire is going to be a little bit softer on their feet um, so that they don't get sores on their feet. So we're gonna be using that for the bottom and then this stuff just for the sides of the cages. And then some of the tools that I'm gonna be using today is my staple gun a hammer possibly, my wire snips to cut the wire down to size, and a measuring tape for measuring. So let's go ahead and get these pieces all laid out, and then we can start getting some of these hutches put together. pieces are laid out so I can find them easily. Now we can start assembly. So Dale sent along some instructions for the three-tier kit that I ordered with all of the pieces lettered and numbered and then with some photograph instructions on how to get it put together. So we're going to be starting with step one. And we're going to be putting, looks like, the back of this together. So let's go ahead and grab our pieces. We need a B piece, D's, and C. And then we're going to be gluing. He did some glue, so hopefully that's not frozen. And screws. And, uh... We'll end up with something like this.
So we got one hutch frame completely built. We got the back, the sides, and the doors were already assembled. And then this is the um, where the eggs roll out. So the access for the eggs is here. So I'm gonna go ahead and set this one aside and I'm gonna build the other two. And then we can um, start working on the wire. hutches are built and put together so now I just need to cut my wire out for the sides the back and the top as well as the bottom and then we can start putting the legs on which are over here still we'll get those on and then we should have a three-tier quail hutch by the end of the day so long as I don't freeze in the process I might need to run in and get myself some hot chocolate and warm my hands up but this project is getting done today <laughs> all right let me uh, start getting some wire cut and we'll start getting it attached to these hutches.
Alrighty guys, so I have one cage with both sides and the top done. It just needs the back done and I have two more to go, but my phone is going to die. So I'm going to take a break and go plug it in, let it charge for a little bit, get some hot chocolate warm up, and then I'm going to come back out and tackle some more of this hutch build. So I'll be right back. <laughs> 